Hey. I heard you guys fighting. Are you all right? Don't worry, Bobby. It's kind of my fault. You were just trying to stop Jazz from going off the deep end. Somebody's got to. Tell me about it. I just... I've had enough for one night. You going to Wayne's? Yeah. You want a friend for the journey? Do you want to sort stuff out with Jazz? Of course. But... Do you think we're compatible? Like, honestly. It's not the most important thing. Isn't it? I mean, if you're not meant to be with someone, why spend all that energy trying to fit a square peg into a round hole? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. You guys have fun together. Sure, sometimes. When she's not wasted or obsessing over her music. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see how that would be annoying. What about you? You don't have to pretend like you don't care. You talked about her a lot after you two. Yeah, I know. I just think you're right. Maybe she's too square of a peg. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. Yeah, but you, you know what I mean. Congrats. You bet one of us would leave. How oh, well, I didn't think it'd be you. Can you believe Astrid? It's the last time I trust her. It seems like she's trying to help you. <sighs> I can be my own judge, thank you very much. Can you? She's always complaining. I drink too much, I smoke too much. Things that age gap, you know? But can you just talk it out? <laughs> Boring. Honestly, when you're always having to have super serious chats, it's done. You guys have been together for ages. So? You can't just throw it all away. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Should I have? It's like this business thing that my studio guy told me about. So basically, when you have like this old car or a really old laptop, rather than keep spending money to fix it, you're better off at a certain point just cutting your losses. Astrid isn't a car. <laughs> well, she's just as about reliable. Well, maybe it'll blow over. No, you yeah. can't change the past. She is who she is, I am who I am. You can draw a line under it and move on. Move on. You can't. How do you mean? You and Heidi, you don't trust her because of what happened before. It's so well, obvious. Things are different now. You can't change the past. I'm sorry, but you're an idiot if you think that you can. Whatever happened before can happen again. <sighs> you want to come finish the brownies? Sorry, there's something I've got to do. At this time in the morning? Yeah, yeah. thanks for a fun night. My face to the sea and my back to the land If you can't come with me, I'll understand I'll understand Wow, it's a weird coincidence. Would you believe I was walking this way? The stables are that way. I figured you'd be here. Yeah. <laughs> That's me, predictable. I mean, if you could be, that would help, like, a lot. I'm exhausted. It's probably the weed. I'm not having slept all night. Yeah, probably. Well, at least you don't have to go shovel all sorts. Hey, you made your bed. Hey, it's actually their bed. <laughs> Can I sit next to you? He's gonna stop you. That's a new one. I guess. It's nice. You don't have to say that. I mean it, that's catchy. Not totally hopeless then. Not totally. Oh wait. If dropping out is gonna make you happy, then I think you should do it. You've changed your tune. 
And you're not even a musician, so... <laughs> okay, stop. Some people are just hopeless at talking. Yeah, Heidi and Tabby are a real disaster. No, I mean us. We need to learn how to, you know, fight. I did like two years of Aikido, so. Is Heidi okay? Imagine having your heart broken again. We should go see her tomorrow. Aren't we supposed to be going op shopping? Yeah. Um, and tell her I'm sorry. Nah. You can tell her yourself. No, she needs a friend. Plus, I'm actually scared she might try and kick my head in. That, yes, fair enough. What? You know before when you said you wanted to talk, was there something specific or...? Nah, doesn't matter now. Well, it mattered then. Nah, it's gonna sound stupid. So there was something? Fine, it was my birthday. What, today? No, shut up. No, before. You forgot my birthday. No, I didn't. It's... Yeah, that time you had that three-day hangover. No. And that night I did something really stupid. <sighs> so Melissa really just swooped in. I thought you were planning some surprise thing, but... Nope, you were just smashed. I was upset. But I, I know it's no excuse. Did anyone sing your happy birthday song? Not really. Because I know someone who could sing you a very special happy birthday song. Special? Yes, yeah, special because it's way after your birthday. So I was... Okay. <laughs> Sorry I forgot your birthday. Now you're gonna make me pay. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo is not gonna know what he do.